Welcome back to my channel. This is Nikki of Nikki's Homemade Crafts. Today I would like to teach you how to crochet a chocolate covered strawberry. I have here three different sizes. We're going to make the medium size in this video. However, I will still teach you how to do the small and large size as we go through the pattern step by step. The fun part about this chocolate covered strawberry is that you can totally take your chocolate off and you can put it back on. You can totally sew the chocolate onto the strawberry, but every time I bite into one, the chocolate falls off. So this is how I designed my chocolate covered strawberry. Feel free to add some faces to it if that's what you would like to do and make it more cute. But let's get started with these three different sized chocolate covered strawberry, small, medium, and large. In order to crochet the chocolate covered strawberries, you're gonna need these materials. We have a dishy yarn in white, red, brown, and green. They may have different names, but that's the colors that we're using. Then we need a little bit of polyfill, um, a 4.5 millimeter hook, a pair of scissors, and darning or tapestry needle. Also, there is a written pattern down below in the description. It has three sizes for the chocolate covered strawberry. I'm only going to show you one size here in this video, but I will explain what is the difference between a small, medium, and large. We're making the medium sized in this video. And that way you have all three versions explained in a video, but the written pattern has all of them. So let's get started. We're going to start with red and make a magic ring, chain one, and add six single crochets to the ring. Close up the ring. And I like to use my yarn end as my stitch marker. In the following round, we're going to crochet one single crochet in the first stitch and then two single crochets in the following stitch. Then you're gonna repeat that until the end. So one single crochet and then an increase. So two single crochets. Then move up your stitch marker. In the next round, you're gonna crochet one single crochet, one single crochet, so one in each stitch, and then two single crochets in the following, therefore an increase. Now repeat that until the end of the round. Move up your stitch marker, then crochet one single crochet, one single crochet, and one single crochet, so one in each stitch. So one, two, three stitches, and then a following stitch, an increase, so two single crochets. Now repeat that until the end of the round. Now move up your stitch marker and crochet one single crochet in the next four stitches, so one in each, and in the following stitch, you're gonna crochet an increase. Now repeat that until the end of the round. If you're making the small strawberry, you would stop at this point and then go to the round of just doing one single crochet in each stitch and then the decreasing round. So fast forward to that part if you want to do the small strawberry. If you want to do the medium strawberry, you're gonna do one more round of increases. So one single crochet in the next five stitches, and then one increase in the following stitch. Now you're gonna repeat that until the end of the round. At this point, we are stopping with the increasing rounds because we're doing the medium strawberry. If you are doing the large strawberry, you're gonna do one more round of increases. So that would be one single crochet in the next six stitches, one increase, and then repeat that until the end of the round. Once you're done with increasing, so all the increasing rounds, whether it's a small, medium, or large strawberry, you're now going to do one round of just doing single crochet stitches. So one per stitch, regardless of the size of the strawberry. The following rounds will be all pretty much the same regardless of the size. The only difference is the amount of stitches that you're doing. So the amount of stitches per round is different, but the repeat is the same. So we're gonna start with one single crochet in the next two stitches. So again, this round is exactly the same regardless of which strawberry size you do. One single crochet in the next two stitches and then a decrease. I like to do the invisible way, which means over the next two stitches, I'm going through the front loop of both of the stitches, then yarn over and pull through and finish it up like a regular single crochet. So that's a decrease. And then you're gonna repeat that. So one single crochet, one single crochet, and a decrease. 
You're going to do that for the rest of the round, regardless of the size of the strawberry. Depending on the strawberry size, you may have one, two, or no stitches at the end here before you start the next round. That is totally fine because it's different for each strawberry size. I have here one more stitch to go and that's totally fine and I did that. In the next round, you're going to do one single crochet and then a decrease. So again, that doesn't matter which strawberry size you have, you're gonna do the same repeat. So one single crochet and then a decrease. one single crochet and a decrease regardless of the strawberry size. Now you repeat that until the end of the round. Again if you have just one stitch left over at the end that's totally fine just place one single crochet. Now we're going to move up our stitch marker as normal and now in the next round we're just going to do decreases. So in each stitch you will have a decrease. If you end up with one stitch left over that's fine just place one single crochet into it. Once that hole gets a little small, you're going to start adding some of your polyfill in between, even if the round is not over yet. So at this stage, I'm going to add some polyfill, even though I have a couple more stitches here to go. Make sure you fluff up your polyfill before you add it, so that way there's no chunks or like thick areas within your little strawberry. So I'm just going to tuck it in. You may need more or less depending on how big your strawberry is and how much polyfill you grabbed. But I think this is about right. You don't want to overstuff it, but you still want to get a chunk in there. So for the small strawberry, you probably have uh, only five stitches. I have here six stitches left in this round, and that is totally fine. So you can count it from the top here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And at this point, I'm going to cut my yarn I'm going to tuck in my stitch marker because I don't need that anymore. I'm going to take my yarn out and I'm going to do the uh, invisible join. It's not really too much important, but I like the clean way how it looks like. So what you're going to do is you're going to imitate this next stitch from the point of where the yarn is coming out. So you're imitating it. So which means you're going to go around it. It doesn't matter which side, from which area you're coming from. The, front to the back or back to the front, right next to it, right? So like this, to the, into the following stitch. And then you're going to go around it and go back into where you came from. So that kind of imitates the stitch. Make a small knot and then weave in your yarn. The way I weave in my yarn when I have polyfill is simply push it all the way through. You don't have to do back and forth or anything. We're done with the red, you're now going to do the green. So what you're going to do is you make a small slip knot. And now we're going to attach our yarn. So we're going to add our leaves now. So you have here your five or six stitches. So pick one of them and attach your yarn. Make a chain of either four or five, depending on how big your strawberry is. So if you have a small medium strawberry, I recommend a chain of four. If you have the large strawberry, do a chain of five. Then starting from the second chain from the hook, you're going to crochet single crochet stitches. So one per stitch. So that means for the small and medium strawberry, you will have a leaf that has three stitches. So chain of four and therefore three stitches. And if you have a large one, it's going to be one extra stitch. I'm also going to take my yarn here. I'm going to stop at this point and I'm going to take my yarn end and I'm going to just weave it through real quick. Um, I'm going to go uh, counterclockwise uh, just so that the leaves look pretty from the front, but you can go totally the other way around. So I'm just going to make a single crochet in the next stitch. You can totally do a slip stitch. I'm just going to do a single crochet and then you're going to do the chain of four again. And then again, starting from the second chain from the hook, one single crochet per chain. Then single crochet into the following stitch and repeat. You're going to do that until the end of the round. So in my case, I'm going to have six little leaves. 
So now we finished the round of leaves. We still have a little bit of red up here and the hole is not closed all the way. So we have to do one more round and then weave in our ends and close the hole. So what we're gonna do now is you're simply going to evenly place single crochet stitches, six of them or five, depending on how many leaves you have. So I would recommend one stitch per leaf and I actually place it into that single crochet, that last single crochet that I made and I just place it into it. We're gonna go all the way around and close the hole with the single crochet stitches that we're making. So place one single crochet per leaf, kind of like towards the center of the leaf. Once you're done, just pull out your yarn. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go around that circle that you just made in single crochet stitches and just weave your yarn through it. So go through each stitch the very end, hold down and pull, and it closes up the hole. All you have to do now is make a small knot and weave in your ends. And again, the way I weave in my ends is simply go through and push it through the strawberry. And now we're done with most of the strawberry. We have to do one more step and that's add the little dots all the way around. And we're gonna do that with the white yarn. So now you're gonna take your yarn and with your needle and you're going to simply pull it through here somewhere on the top underneath your leaves just pull it through but let some of it hang out that's totally fine because we're going to come back to it later so what you're going to do now is you're going to insert your needle and let it come out somewhere doesn't matter where just pull it through and now you can decide how big you want your little um that's little dots or little lines to be. It totally is up to you. You can go up and down, you can go sideways, um, you can, how far you're gonna go, it all depends on how big you want it to be. So you can go up and down or sideways. So I'm just gonna go into either the next stitch or the next area. So like kind of behind this yarn right here, just gonna go through it and then come back out somewhere here a little further over. So it doesn't matter where, just somewhere further over. And it creates that little line. I like to go horizontal and then just go all the way around, but you do however you like to do it. Again, over here, just go right next to the next piece of yarn right here and then come out somewhere further down. So you have that little line and then keep going. So evenly spread those little lines however you like and how big you want it to be. It's totally up to you. Once you have your kind of one row done, you kind of go a little bit lower in that point. So I'm gonna just go a little lower here and then make more of these little lines. And then I'm gonna go kind of in an area between, but a little lower. So like about here. And then just keep going. Making your little lines and just go all the way until you're on the bottom once you're done all the way around it doesn't have to be perfect however you like and you can add as many as you want come back to the point where you started so you simply push your needle from the very bottom all the way up here to the top then you're going to make a small knot you can totally do like a double knot it's going to disappear afterwards anyways and once you're done, and this is kind of in the same area, you're now going to take your needle and you're going to push it through. This is going to pull that knot in words, just like that. And you're going to do the same with the other strand. In the same area, just push it through, but come out somewhere else. Doesn't matter where, just push it through. See, and that knot kind of disappeared. And now you're done with your strawberries. So now we just need to work on the chocolate covered part. So let's do that now. So you're now gonna take your brown yarn and I apologize in advance, it may be hard to see on camera because it's such a dark color, but we're gonna need brown. So take your brown, make a magic ring, chain one. And now we're gonna add seven single crochet stitches to your ring. So quick reminder, 
we started with six single crochets for the strawberry and here we're adding seven. So that way it's just a slightly bigger and it fits around the strawberry. Now pull your yarn, close up your ring, add a stitch marker. I like to use my yarn end, but you do however you wish. And now in the next round, we're gonna do exactly the same thing as we did for the strawberries. So one single crochet in the first stitch and then two single crochets in the following. Now repeat that until the end of the round. You will end up with one stitch at the very end, just add one single crochet into it. This will happen in every round. Move up your stitch marker and in the following round crochet one single crochet in the first and in the second. So one single crochet in the next two stitches and then an increase. So two single crochet stitches. Now repeat that until the end of the round. You will have one stitch at the very end uh, before you finish the round. In the following round you're going to crochet one single crochet in the next three stitches. And then you have one increase in the following stitch. So that means two single crochets. Now repeat that until the end of the round. You have one single crochet before you finish. In the next round you're going to crochet one single crochet in the next four stitches. And then one increase. So two single crochets in the following. Now repeat that until the end of the round plus that one extra single crochet at the end. If you're doing this small strawberry, you're going to stop increasing at this point and you're simply going to crochet the very last round at this point. If you're doing the medium strawberry, you're going to do one more round of increases with me. So one single crochet in the next five stitches and then two single crochets in the following. Repeat that until the end of the round and add that one more extra single crochet. At this point, we're gonna stop if you're with the medium strawberry. If you're doing the large strawberry, you're gonna do one more round of increases. So that means one single crochet in the next six stitches and then an increase. The very last round, doesn't matter how many increasing rounds you did, will be the same. It actually is not the same. <laughs> so this is the funny part. Every chocolate covered strawberry looks different. So let's make it so. That means I'm gonna give you three different stitches so single, half double, and double crochet, and you put them in random places, however you like. How many, doesn't matter. So let's make it look all different. So how's that gonna look like? So randomly I'm gonna place your stitches, one stitch per stitch. So I start with one single crochet. Next one, I'll just do the half double crochet. Then let's do a double crochet. And maybe another double crochet. So everything is one stitch per stitch. Then let's do a half double. And let's do a single, let's do two more singles. And the next one, let's do a half double and then another half double. Let's do a few double crochet stitches. Let's do like three or four. Let's see, we did two. Let's do another one right here. Let's do the half double next. Let's do two more half doubles. So it really doesn't matter. You want different heights here. Let's do, yeah, one more half double, and let's um, do a single here, half double. Let's do a double crochet. And let's do one more half double and two more single crochets. So that way, the wave that is happening all the way here around is totally different. And that's kind of what you want. You want different waves, different heights, because the strawberry, the chocolate covered strawberries always look different. Now cut your yarn and now it's a matter of weaving in your ends. And now we're gonna add some lines on the front so it looks like we added and drizzled some white chocolate over. So first I'm gonna do the invisible join again for the top part right here so there's a clean transition. Now let's do the very, very last step and that is doing the drizzle of the white chocolate. Now you don't have to do that but I'm going to do it. So I'm gonna take my yarn and simply insert it here all the way on the bottom. That's where I'm going to start. I always have something hanging out so I can tie it up later. And now I'm just going to go back and forth through my stitches here, however you want to do it. Remember that it never looks the same, right? So I'm just going to go back and forth here. So it creates some of these lines. Remember not to over pull because this is rounded. 
and feel free to make it a little uneven because it never looks exactly the same. And then once you're done with your lines, flip it inside out and kind of weave your yarn back to the bottom. The inside part is not going to look super pretty and that's totally fine. Now I'm going to make a knot here and then just weave my ends in however you want to weave it in. Just make sure it doesn't peek through on the other side. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just don't want it to come undone. That's all there is to it. And then once you're done, you simply insert your strawberry and you're good. Now you can totally sew on that chocolate covered part for the strawberry. However, I prefer leaving it like this. So that way I can take my strawberry out and I can use it for other things. And plus, let's be honest, for chocolate covered strawberries, every time I try to bite in one of them, the chocolate always kind of falls off. So this kind of assembles this, that the chocolate can fall off of your strawberry and you can eat it separately if you wanted to. So here I have my three different sizes. So this one is the smallest size, so you can see kind of the difference here. So small size, medium sized, and then here's the large size. So you can see the difference of what happens when you add one more round of increases between each. So this goes onto one single crochet in four stitches and then an increase and then stops there. This goes onto five. So one single crochet in the next five stitches increase. That's where this one stops. And this goes onto six. So remember, I have the written pattern down below for all three sizes of these chocolate covered strawberries. I would love to see your three different size chocolate covered strawberries. You can join my Facebook group called Crocheting with Nikki. There's a link down below in the description so you can join us. It's a free group. I also have a membership and in the membership, you get all my patterns ad free. So if you don't like ads, come join my membership. That is the place to be. Plus you get lots and lots of exclusive patterns that you wouldn't otherwise get. Be sure to like, comment and share this video and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the bell to get a notification next time I'm publishing a video or go live. Now go ahead and watch the next video. You're going to want to, I promise you do.